What's up guys? Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. I got my boy Nate Taylor. He's an actor, poet, and a model. If you need to book him, go ahead and book him. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and get into the question of the day. What if you're dating with someone, your lover, your husband, your significant other, whatever the case may be, and they freaking snore, okay? <laughs> they snore so loud that you gotta go to the next room to sleep. Um, that question is crazy because uh, I've been told I snore mm -hmm. a lot. So, um, I, I don't, <laughs> I mean, especially, I, I think I snow, snore more when I'm like, I've been drinking or I've been, I'm super tired and, you know, mm -hmm. sleep or something like that. Uh, Which so, is common. Yeah. Um, but I've, I've been in bed with like, you know, a significant other and she had to go in another room because she said I was snoring too loud more than mm -hmm. one time after, but it's always at the party, you know, after going out and having drinks and, and right. you know, and I'm like tired, you know, whatever. So whatever effect that does have on me. So. I don't know. That's a real question because I don't think I could like get mad at a girl for snoring because right. I snore myself. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know. That's a hard one for me. That's a really good question. Um, honestly, I don't. Okay, because I'm such a, an affectionate person, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not the giver. Okay, I'm a receiver, <laughs> and I love to receive attention, affection, love touches kisses all that anyways the point is i need you to be in bed with me okay i can't be getting up sleeping on the couch or going in another room just because you're snoring too freaking loud do you snore? no oh, these i hope these are, these are lies right here <laughs> <laughs> she told like she was lying okay. not that i know of you know, so you, have you been ever been told you that you snore okay so like you said drinking like if you're drunk obviously i think the alcohol has a an, an effect on the body right. so you can't really control that but on an everyday, no, I'm not a snorer. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Do you smoke? No. Okay. Marijuana. Me too. No. <laughs> <laughs> Next no. question. <laughs> <laughs> so, because smoking has something to do with it as well. So, uh, for me, it. Thank you, Doctor Phil. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I think it would be a deal breaker because I need you to be in bed. Um. Okay, you know what? But to me, my, it's my personal opinion, mm -hmm. and someone could think differently. I feel like the snoring thing is only for people who are light sleep sleepers. Because when, right. when I'm asleep, I'm asleep. Mm -hmm. I don't. I mean, you could be. I ain't gonna say the house could be burning down, but it could, it gotta be something really whatever to make wake me up. Like when I'm asleep, I'm asleep. I'm not a light sleeper. So the people who are bothered by snoring, people mm -hmm. that that they sleep so quiet mm -hmm. and a little bit, the little littlest sound like right. wakes them up, mm -hmm. and like that's that's just the hardest thing when you're that's incompatibility incompatibility right. there. Like, when you're a person who like you're just a you just pass out when you're mm -hmm. asleep and you don't, you can barely hear anything then you your partner's like a, a soft sleeper and mm -hmm. you know they the little thing wakes them up right that just kind of shows incompatibility right there. right and that's that's a really good point because it's so crazy like people think when people get divorces and stuff sometimes it's the small things that really cause right. you to get a divorce like the fact that you snore right. or the fact that you fart <laughs> right. so um for me it would be a deal breaker because okay I'm trying to think of a way of how it could be a compromise. What can you actually do? Like if, if use nose strips, use nose strips. Or I can plug my ears, maybe wear earplugs. Well, I'm saying the person. No, I'm saying the person can use nose strips. That kind of mm -hmm. like hinder, you know, stop, stop some of the snoring. Right. Put them, put it on your nose. Mm -hmm. I've used them before. Yeah. <laughs> so because I'm a light sleeper. They work. Sleeper. They work sometimes, depending on how you know. Mm -hmm. How much of how much uh, snoring you plan you're gonna do that night? But they do. It does minimize it mm -hmm. a little bit. So. But you know what? And there's apps that you can use to like play like sounds from like the waterfall or wherever it is maybe or just Your put music. Gonna overpower on. that probably. Yeah, I don't know. Probably. I don't think that's gonna it work. It probably will. Yeah. Probably won't work. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work too much. So with this one, I think it's more of a compatibility issue. So. Right. Yeah. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. For me, it's not a deal breaker. So. All right, guys. Well, we want to know your opinion <laughs> because honestly, I've never experienced that before. I've never been with a guy who snores way too loud that I have to get up and go. And that's the that's the whole um, issue here. It's not a matter of they snore. It's if it's that bad where you have to get up and go to another room. Right. And I haven't experienced that. But if I was to be in that situation, nah, it would turn off. To but comment down below we want to know your opinion and as always guys if you're not following this channel hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications and like this video follow my boy nate taylor his information will always be down below in the description and 
I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.